Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's such an honor for me to be here standing before you. Uh, when they asked me to come up here and say a few words, uh, I didn't know what to say, considering all the scholars and all the knowledgeable people that are here. Uh, and, uh, so rather than uh, spending valuable time uh, in giving uh, long speeches on the subjects that I'm less qualified about, uh, I thought uh, uh, I'd just give you uh, a glimpse of some of my experience uh, at Alborz, uh, uh, more on the human side rather than on the scholarly side. Uh, you would hear, obviously, uh, many scholarly talks uh, all the way uh, uh, throughout the day uh, about Alborz uh, and its leaders. As you know, uh, being on time was a big requirement uh, at Alborz. One day as my dad was driving me to school, uh, we were caught in the traffic, and I arrived a few minutes late. It was uh, about a few minutes after 8 a.m. The main door of the school was closed. I knocked, and Mashkazanfak, the custodian, <laughs> opened the door, the small door, uh, in the gate. Somehow, I negotiated my way in with it. I started dashing towards the central building, and that being the central building. School was so quiet, not a soul was on the yard. As I looked up, I saw Dr. Mushtayadi is standing up on the top of the stairs. <laughs> I was still about a couple hundred feet away, and I thought about changing course <laughs> and go around the building. <laughs> I glanced one more time, and this time I saw him looking at me straight. <laughs> Standing tall, hands clasped behind his back. Some of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I slowed down and walked to the building like a lamb going to meet his men. <laughs> Those of you that know what I'm talking about understand this is almost like a religious experience. <laughs> I decided to walk up the stairs as close to the wall and as far away <laughs> from him, avoiding any eye contact. <laughs> as I reached to the top step and started passing him by, heart racing, <laughs> knees jerking, he said, good morning. <laughs> and I said hi, shivering. What is your name, he said. Stuttering, I said, fa 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 <laughs> And your last name, I said, Masih Tehrani. Mm. The book came out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> like an experienced judge, he looked for prior convictions, and he closed the book, put it back in his pocket, and approached me. He then took the long hair that I had tucked into my shirt <coughs> out, and he had this thing about long hair. Uh, <laughs> and he said, are you late because you were at a barber shop? <laughs> <laughs> I got the joke, but I told him I was caught in the traffic. So he told me to turn around, go back, have a haircut, and come back to school. <laughs> and then I used my last logical arsenal. I told him that I don't have any money with me. <laughs> he smiled and said, this one is on me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the barber next to movie did and tell him the doctor sent you. <laughs> and I did. The barber told me to sit down in a chair 
which, by the way, did not have any mirror in front of it. <laughs> he gave me this sports magazine, Tehane Bazzi. And a few minutes later, brought up a mirror to me. Who says, boys don't cry? <laughs> he managed to completely destroy my looks. <laughs> I smile now when I remember <coughs> this event because Dr. Mujtahedi was larger than life. He was one of the most significant figures in educating many of us. Long hair or no hair, he instilled the type of discipline in his students that carried them further than many other schools. AdWords has educated over 100,000 I asked many graduates what they thought they learned the most at AdWords. Here are the top five answers. Discipline, friendship, confidence in possibilities, respecting talent of others, and last but not least, a complete dictionary of Persian bad words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. And uh, it's an honor to be a Montreal. I uh, hope you have a fulfilling day. Thank you.